Hello and welcome to this quick little tutorial about how to add the anti-phishing list to your Discord server. First of all, you can navigate to my GitHub repository, which I will have in the video description if you're not on it already, and you can add the anti-phishing custom command. You can do that by clicking it, hitting raw, right-click, select all, right-click, copy. Now navigate to your dashboard. Select your server, go to core, custom commands, and click create a new custom command. And here you can then delete the response and paste in the code. At the top of the code it tells you how to set it up. It will be backslash A for the trigger, and the trigger type is regex. Make sure this is properly set, or else it will not work. Then if you scroll further down, it will you will have a few options, such as the action that is getting taken whenever uh, the bot detects a phishing link. For example, by default it's set up to kick the user, and it is set up to send a message. If you don't want to deal with the users or the messages, and don't want to report them, you can enable delete. This will then delete the uh, phishing, phishing link and the user will then get kicked. If you think this has been set up right, let's set this to true, then you can hit save and then the custom command is working already. Navigate back to the GitHub repository. Now you have to add every single one of those lists to your Discord server. You can do that by clicking it, hitting raw, right click, select all, right click, copy, navigate to your dashboard, create a new custom command, in this case we will call it obo, <laughs> and paste in the domain list. Hit save, go to your Discord server, and make sure you run it once. In this case you can see I already tried it because this is my second take of the video because I currently don't have a cutting software installed on this computer. <laughs> Anyways, now repeat this process with all the other phishing lists. That means go into phishing list 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and so on and all add them to your server and execute them once. That's it. Now your server is protected against the phishing links that have been roaming around recently and make sure to sometimes check for updates on those lists so you can make sure you're staying safe. <laughs>